hello, Bethlehem community. It's been a few weeks since our last update, and so we wanted to take just a few minutes to keep you well informed as we continue our ministry transformed for this new day. First, I have to say that your staff, we all miss you terribly, and yet we are committed to caring for our neighbors, and therefore we will continue to follow the health and safety guidelines from our state health officials. We have put together a tentative plan detailing the different phases for how Bethlehem will slowly open up in accordance with health and safety recommendations, beginning first with small group ministries and eventually ending in our large worship services. For the meantime, though, our large worship gatherings will continue online, premiering on Sunday at 8.30 and 10.30 in the morning on our Facebook page. Please also know that you can watch our services at any time during the week through our website. We are asking that you continue to share these services with your family and friends who may be still searching for a church to worship with. We are currently finalizing plans to offer communion as part of our worship services in a way that mitigates health risks and takes into account the rich and varied faith backgrounds of the Bethlehem community. That's coming very soon. Summer, ministries op summer ministry opportunities, they've changed. We know that. But safer alternatives are being developed right now for Bethlehem families. We are also reinventing our entire faith formation ministry for the next school year to allow for flexibility if, as we expect, some social distancing requirements remain in place. Thank you for all those people who have put their names forward to be considered for Bethlehem's call committee. Pastor Peter will continue to work with that group as we move forward through the summer to form our new pastoral staff team here at Bethlehem. Now many of you have been asking about the financial health of Bethlehem during this time. Like many other organizations, the uncertainty that we are all feeling right now and the economic impact of COVID-19 is impacting our finances. But to date, that impact has been minimal and certainly not in a way that is affecting our ability to carry out our ministry in all of its many dimensions. Your continued financial support makes it possible to minister in new ways and serve our community. So again, thank you for your generosity and all that you do. As always, we are committed to form a community dedicated to following in the way of Christ, a community that cares for one another and for those around us. Please let us know if you, a loved one, or even a neighbor is in need of prayer support, and we will continue to walk with one another, both now and into the future. Stay safe. God bless.